What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. We're just going to kind of dive right in. I was getting a lot of messages all throughout the week. I'm sad that I did not write them down, but like it's honestly usually when I am being very active and just, I, I don't know, it could also just be random. I feel like sometimes when you guys like watch the videos, that's when I like receive messages about previous videos to clarify for future videos stuff like that so anyway but there was a message coming through and the song that was just playing on the on the on Alexa um, pause the music was Owl City um, and it's called on the wing so I do feel like this is gonna be a positive reading I really hope but Okay, breathe and I'll carry you away into the velvet sky and we'll stir the st stars around and watch them fall away into the Hudson Bay and plummet out of sight and sound. Okay, the, um, but there's a part that was, Alexa, pause the music. Oh, are you there? Are you there? There was a message for somebody that was coming through earlier this week and it's something about I mean, I wish I would have wrote it down. It's something about, um, like, you're, you're not crazy. You, somebody is channeling and, or listening or a clear audience, and it, it's almost like, okay, oh, that's what it was. The message was, it's like somebody was, <laughs> okay, you guys just use discernment. All my, my readings are for entertainment purposes only, right, to... Um, and their general readings, um, y y only take what resonates. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The readings are also not gender specific. Okay. It was something about someone thinking that they, they're having conversations in their head and they think that they're schizophrenic. But the thing, what I was hearing is, okay, and you guys, again, just take what resonates. Okay. And, um... You know, if you do need to go see a doctor or a psychiatrist or something like that, then, you know, that's good. That's, you know, do that. But it's something about, um, remember when the, the things that you heard were prophetic, though, okay? Um, so you're, you're not. Like, it's, you might be in some sort of a psychosis or you might be, or, or something like that, but it's something about ballet as well. But, um, so, and you could be a dude or a chick. Okay, and in the lyrics of this song too, it's something, is this just a decoy dream in my head? There was something else about keeping your frequency in the frequency of love, and you're going to be receiving, um, like the messages that you used to, and or just keeping yourself in the frequency of love so that you can connect to... Um, to God and the higher realms to receive the messages that you need to receive for yourself, okay? Um, it's like there's a lower frequency, okay, and again, you guys, if you need to see someone, you know, but there's a lower frequency energy that's almost making you, some or making somebody doubt themselves, like self-doubt, and, and making them think that they may be schizophrenic. And in my personal opinion, you guys, I think that there is... A very close like there's there's a connection between all of that all of the, our uh, um, like neurodivergence and things like that I think that and this is just my opinion but I do feel like neurodivergence is uh, typically if you believe it or not are, are um, can be a little bit more like their senses are a little bit more heightened. I don't know how to say it, but I do feel like there's a certain correlation between being neurodivergent and some sort of uh, an audience, a, a clair, a cognizance, a clair, or a clair something, clair audience. We've, uh, maybe somebody's clair audience, okay? That seems to become, and clair cognizance, did I say that? Okay. Um, something about, yeah, it's um, fuck fear, it will lie to your face. Okay, let's just have a... So we're just going to dive right into the energy. I didn't really meditate on the energy at all. I mean, I kind of got a few downloads throughout the past week. Um, hopefully, I was doing, you know, I was doing a lot of um, other things I needed to do. So somebody's getting like a wave of power that's going to be coming through. Like, I feel like maybe somebody has been 
uh, resting. Um, but they're going to like emotionally and mentally and maybe your body physically had to make you rest. Okay. Um, maybe somebody is yeah lacking a certain type of confidence that, that, that's going to be coming back. Um, maybe somebody was doing a lot of self-reflecting. We did have that eclipse. Um, so happiness and confidence is going to be coming in. I, like I said, a wave of power and peace as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody was spending a lot of time alone, just really focusing on their inner light and inner light can be like, I want to just kind of clarify, like inner light can be, you know, conjuring the light and just sitting with yourself and, and cultivating you know, positive energy or, or focusing on your light can also be focusing on your truth and the truth. Okay. Which is not necessarily cultivating happy things, but it can be, um, it can be painful, uh, shadow work is what I'm talking about. Okay. So, um, whichever way or whatever, whatever you did, um, there's something that's going to be, uh, wrapping up and, um, there's a, a judgment call with regards to somebody's future, um, like timeline and, and where they're going to be kind of uh, going and or entering into, um, is actually what I'm hearing. I think somebody has gotten in control of their sexual energy. It looks like the sacral chakra. Somebody has gotten that under control. Maybe somebody had to, um, like cleanse themselves from like a past something. I, f I feel like somebody has cleansed, um, their energy of, uh, attachments of an attachment or certain attachments. Right? So things moving forward are going to be a little bit more, yeah, illumination with the sun here. So if there was any sort of gang stalking that was uh, going on, it, it would subside now. Um, I'm hearing some, some folks were trying to uh, latch on to somebody's um, energy while they were going through this, uh, shadow work or this transformation or this, um, uh, this, yeah, the shadow work. Um, and while they were trying to copy your energy or latch onto your energy, um, they ended up creating a channel for, a, like, uh, darker energies that you can manage but they, because you have disciplined yourself to be able to well, conquer and manage uh, certain principalities, um, entities, things like that, um, only take what resonates, you guys. Okay, I'm not telling y'all to, you know, jump and, you know, start, I don't fucking talk into demons and stuff like that. But some people kind of don't really have a choice. Like, they're, it's born within their DNA or, or somewhere in their ancestral lineage, something, you know what I mean? And then, and then we have, you know, chosen ones, um, from that lineage that the ancestors choose to break the curse. Okay. So it sounds like somebody has done this and, um, but there were, so there were <laughs> dumbass current karmics like they're, they're not even they become karmics because okay i'm not i'm not i'm not going there all right um because that is a rabbit hole that i go down and i get very yeah um okay let's see what else spirit so somebody um so it's like it's almost like a whole it's almost like maybe somebody felt like they needed to, right, right, yeah. Somebody felt like they needed to isolate in order to um, protect themselves because it's like, I don't know, maybe you felt like every time you would go out, like people were like being mean or something like that or just not being nice. Or maybe there was like a certain group or something like that. I don't know, but there's some sort of an energy shift that's going to be happening. And uh, it's also very important for somebody to hear and know that it's not your fault. Okay. If, if any of these other people tried to 
steal your energy or or get into your um, auric field or were trying to they they opened up a channel they tried to open up some sort of a channel is what I'm hearing between you and them by lowering your frequency to meet theirs while you were kind of on a lower frequency doing the shadow work you know going through the emotions painful emotions it, it can lower the frequency but ultimately it, it heightens your frequency right because you then incorporating that and releasing whatever that is right or releasing whatever you don't need and then incorporating whatever you do need okay so it's like somebody was trying to get into somebody's energy in that in that space lower your energy and then create an attachment but little did they know that they could not handle what was on the other side of you and that it's almost like you okay you're a protector of many okay what else spirit ancestral guys what are they knight of wands Okay, so just kind of still be very careful with your energy. I feel like whoever you are, I do feel like you, there's, a, there's the spirit of discernment is incredibly important right now. I feel like whoever you are, you're very grounded in the spirit of discernment. And so you, I'm also hearing that somebody is very good at grounding in other people's energy to be able to see where the trajectory of that relationship will go. So like who, and it could be romantic or not, or, and it could be like a uh, family too, or, you know what I mean? Cause what I'm seeing is I'm seeing somebody, um, meeting somebody and then sitting and meditating in that person's energy. And maybe somebody's getting better at this too. Like it's happening more like simultaneously. So it's like, instead of like meeting somebody and then going home and meditating and saying, Hey, what's this relationship going to be like? Is this going to be positive in my life? Is, you know, God ancestors guide me. Maybe instead of that, now it's like, you're, you're actually like walking up to the person and you get like a, just a flash of like, of like a life that you could have together and it is either okay or it's not. And you, and somebody's really trusting that. Okay. Now somebody also might be receiving that very, very quickly, but so quickly they don't realize it that then they're having a feeling like an intuitive feeling. Okay. This is somebody's intuitive guidance and there's something about a vision or something like that. Like visions are going to start like opening up more or like, um, yeah, so it's like somebody's really good at trusting their feelings and now okay, so that that could have been a message for somebody but but I'm also hearing now that somebody's very good at trusting their feelings so much so now that they're going I don't know, maybe somebody's going to now start seeing visions or something like that. I don't know, just take what resonates you guys. This all ties in though. It really does make sense. So it sounds like somebody is afraid that um I, that they're going mental but um this is so this is a slippery slope for me i just want you guys you know obviously just use discernment but like um yeah okay man that's okay yeah somebody just really needs to remember um remember all of the uh, premonitions that you've had it, somebody has a testimony you have a testimony whatever your testimony is you you have to trust that and and maybe somebody is maybe somebody needed to remember that too I don't know let's pull some more cards what else spirit yeah I feel like somebody somebody okay yeah the eight of swords um kind of being caught in somebody's head in your own head um This could be like a dude too, like a straight up dude that like got somebody caught in their head too. This could be like a fuck boy. I mean, or it could just be like a young fire sign too, or just take what resonates you guys. It could be a dude or a chick. Obviously the cards are not gender specific, like I said. Um, this could also be somebody is now looking for relationships that are not going to be so short lived. Like, um, and and there's, uh, and maybe even now I'm hearing too, with somebody in romantic relationships, it's something about like at this, in this instant passionate spark that somebody is also recognizing that is not necessarily 
healthy and or it mirrors something unhealthy that they've had that somebody has experienced in their past and they're trying to discern that like you can have passion but now you need to discern whether the passion is manipulative and or if the passion is like love so like maybe you had somebody who maybe maybe somebody had um maybe somebody um, let's see what else spirit that was that's gone now that one just popped right out okay what else spirit ancestors of the highest way light So maybe somebody's used to like a lot of conflict or something like that. Like maybe some like growing up, you were used to being in a lot of conflict and there's something about like this adrenaline rush. I'm hearing like an adrenaline rush. Um, when you get this con when there's a conflict. And so like somebody's like used to in these times of conflict, like mediating and, and jumping around and trying to, to please everyone to, to, to kind of, um, um, like crowd control. Um, so maybe somebody, and then there's something about this, like a rush of passion that reminds somebody of this adrenaline of this, you know, appeasing the crowd. And it, it's something about it. it there's the trigger here that's triggering somebody back into getting into some sort of a, um, or somebody has, has um like conquered this demon so to speak or broken the cycle um where they're learning how to discern okay uh, you're right okay let's move on all right what else spirit yeah the eight of pentacles so you're kind of like you're done with this phase and you're on to the next I mean, or, and, or you are almost done with this phase and you're on to the next because he's still working, but he's only got like one pentacle left to go. But this is also a card of mastery. So I feel like this is something that you've mastered. What else? Spirit answers to the highest way light. Like somebody's learning how to also recognize the signs of emotional abuse. And somebody's also learning how to recognize now, um, yeah, uh, recognize now like psychic vampires, psychic vampires and emotional abuse. The five of cups, the five of cups to me is, I mean, it can be a card of, uh, yeah, psychic vampires. You see the blood in the cups and this is you. This is you high priestess we've got the king of pentacles too though you could be a, a man or a woman but what this says to me is that somebody is highly intuitive and somebody is also very good at manifesting and this could be male or female energy but i feel like somebody's very very grounded in their intuition and it's just like um i mean that's just what i mean i love these cards together the king of pentacles with the high priestess like very grounded in your intuition and um, forthcoming. I'm also hearing and um, like confident, you know, cause uh, the, you know, um, an assertive, more assertive than they used to be. Cause there's a reason that I've got the King of Pentacles and not the Queen of Pentacles here. And there's a reason I have the high priestess and not, you know, um, but we do have the hermit as well. Okay. So, this could also be, um, well, yeah, we'll just leave it there. Okay. So, but somebody's getting really good at discerning. Okay. So that makes sense because somebody, somebody must've had some sort of an attachment 
or like monitoring spirits or something like that from these little karmics. If there was a, if there was a group of karmics, there must've been some monitoring spirits and somebody was like, I don't ever want this to happen again. God, Jesus, please help me. I don't want this to ever happen again. These fucking monitoring spirits tell me what to do to get them away and keep them away. And so somebody learned how to get them away, did some cleansing and got them away and, and learned discernment and is like, I am never going to surround myself with the wrong people because I never want to have these fucking monitoring spirits. Cause y'all monitoring spirits suck, man, you guys you know, like, um, you know, like instead of, I don't, you know, you've got to like fast and you've got to like, I, I mean, you're just praying all the fucking time. You're taking so many bubble baths. It's insane. I mean, that's just like, for me you have to be celibate. It's like, I mean, and, and, and to be able to, you know, like work and, and, and make money and do things with friends and go out and be active and stuff like that. Like you can't, you have to eat food, right? But if you're fasting because you don't want these fucking monitoring spirits, it's just, you know, it, it takes, it, it takes time out of life that you don't want to waste. So it's good to be, you know, discerning right from the beginning, um, to make sure that you, you know, you're not wasting your time in this life. So I feel like that's the reading. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody was fasting. Somebody may have even been fasting. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's some sort of divine justice that was called too. But like I said, this it's like somebody's walking into a new phase in their life. Yeah, I don't know. I've got the justice card here. But, um, you know, it's like this is the portal that you're walking through to the other side here. This is also, you know, 1111, the four of... Um, wands but something's going to happen something's taking place and and or things are going to start moving again for you and and it's going to be full of uh, fortune so that is the reading whoever you are you do things in a very unorthodox way it's almost like the 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 nemesis uh it's almost like, yeah, they, they, they don't stand a chance. I don't, that's all that I got for you, you guys. Um, so I hope that this reading helps. I'm sending you guys so much love. Thanks so much for being here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation to this channel too, that always is so helpful. Every little bit counts. Every little bit helps. Um, all that information is down below and other than that, I'm sending you guys so much love and Nina is too. We're going to make the bed. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Thanks for being here until next time. Bye.